Now this is just a little taste of what you can expect at the 2013 Dye India Dance Night. Right, Dr. Jenny? Did yes, I say that right? Sarah. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's Dye India Dance Night on October 11th, Friday. 7.30 at Valhalla in Ballroom. Tell me about this dancing. It's dancing with sticks of yes. some sort? So it's a traditional stick dance from India and this is being performed in the honor of Mother Nature. So this is our respect to Mother Nature and because Mother Nature is giving us so many things including the food, shelter, so many things. So nine days in a week in India, um, nine days in a year in India, they dance with the sticks every evening. Every and day. they play the lo lovely music and everybody can participate it like you know kids family everyone this is great now these guys how did these guys learn how to do these dance well they learn by seeing so everybody can we will will be there uh, to teach them those who are first timers can join us and they will be able to learn the dance. We will teach them how to dance. Now, it's very simple. Is it? Yeah, very simple. <laughs> now, tell me, why, why did you decide to put on this, uh, this evening, this dance It's night? just a joy, a fun, and share the love and the culture with everyone. And it's our appreciation to Mother Nature that um, we appreciate the Mother Nature once a year by celebration of food, music, and dance together. So, and. Uh, more and more people join it's fun for everyone this is great now um our if you if our viewers don't know dr jani is the the brains behind festival of india the very successful festival of india, of india that's happened over the last couple of years here yes yes festival of india has been going for five years and we wanted to celebrate it in a bigger scale now so we add more and more festivals every year so this is a new addition to the series of festivals of india this it's called the india dance festival this is great. and everybody's invited for this festival children will love this the adults will love it the boys and girls everybody will love it this is great and, the, and it's a really reasonable price ten dollars yes. you come out have a great time now tell us quickly uh, where where are we right now yeah so we are here in the Vedic Cultural Center now Vedic Cultural Center is uh, on 1206 Victoria Avenue East in Thunder Bay and this is a unique type of cultural center where we share our knowledge cultural values love and our food with everyone who comes to the center. Like so many people come here every week, we have almost more than 100 visitors, and it's a completely a non-profit project. Every week we feed more than 50 people at no cost. Wow. And we uh, teach here yoga, meditation, uh, our philosophy from India, which is called Bhakti Yoga Philosophy. Mm -hmm. So we teach Bhakti Yoga Philosophy here to the people. Oh, wow. And it's at no cost. Anybody can drop it at any time. This is great. I really, really love and respect what you do here in our community. This is really great. Well, I love Thunder Bay <laughs> and we want to stay in Thunder Bay. We want so, you to. <laughs> so, so we are sharing our culture, love and whatever food, whatever we have with the people of Thunder Bay. Now I know we are going to be uh, touching a little bit more on what you do here in the center uh, on Shaw TV, on Go Thunder Bay coming up in the future months. I definitely want to come down here and share what you do with the community. So Thank you Sarah for your help and support and I'm thankful to people of Thunder Bay who are generously supporting to this uh, uh, noble um, cause for contribution culture to the Thunder Bay. Well, thank you very much. I'll let Janice head over to the dancing here in just one second, but before I do, I just want to remind you that we do have a Shaw TV open house orientation on October the 10th, so you can come out to that, and then on the Friday, head out to the dance party. Stay tuned to Shaw TV.